For years, the upscale brand of the Ford Motor Company has tried to stake its claim in the luxury segment of the marketplace, but with modest success at best. Probably far and away the most successful of its offering consistently over the years has been the full-size Lincoln Navigator SUV. The recently discontinued MKZ sedan has been a perennial favorite, but with falling sales in its last years as the truck and SUV trend has gained traction. There have been recent misses too over the last 20 years, the Lincoln Blackwood, half truck, half SUV, completely disregarded by the marketplace. And then there was the Lincoln Mark LT, a thinly disguised Ford F-150 with a luxury price tag. And perhaps there was the first Lincoln Aviator SUV, built from 2003 to 2005, a vehicle looking for a solution. And finally, there was the recent Lincoln Continental. Right car, wrong time. And of all those vehicles, oh, all those vehicles were in the last 20 years. So Lincoln, what's changed this time? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, Lincoln has tried in probably the last 30 years to be relevant in the luxury space. And it seems that the only vehicle that has caught fire and remained consistent has been the large full-size Navigator. Uh, The only other thing that even begun to come close was the MKZ, and it was MKZ was actually a nice car. And, of course, you know why, right? Can you say Mazda 6? (laughs) Yeah. 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 They were, when Ford owned Mazda, they borrowed the Mazda 6 platform and spun 15 different vehicles off it over 20 years. The MKZ was one of them. And that, that is a testament, actually, because it was a heck of a, it was a heck of a platform. So it was not a negative thing. Um, the challenge I've got for Lincoln. Now, they've got three vehicles out there now. They've got the Nautilus. They've got the uh, rechristened Aviator. Um, they got the Corsa, I think they call it. A Corsair, I'm sorry, that they call it. And those seem to be catching a little bit of fire, but still, you know, it's modest. You know, Ford, for its worth, Ford knows how to make a truck. Ford knows how to make a truck. I mean, Ford, that's the thing. They know how to make trucks. If they don't make anything, they can make a truck. Yeah. I mean, the F-Series has been a perennial bestseller for over 40 years. So my question, and I can't figure this out, if you are a company that has truck making down to a science, you cannot lose, how much of a stretch is it to develop a luxury vehicle on your truck platforms. Bite the bullet, spend the money, and and come up with something truly wonderful. Like, for example, most people won't even remember the Blackwood because for the little bit it was out for like a year and a half, they only made 11,000 of them, which means that thing's going to be worth a fortune. Basically, it's a half a navigator, half navigator, half uh, wood uh, cargo bed. Oh, it was an interesting looking animal. Uh, the Mark LT, which was out around 2006, Ford could have spent some more money in differentiating. And honestly, if it was me, I would have started with an F-250 and made all of them all-wheel drive and massaged the all-wheel drive system to be really silky smooth. Yeah. You know, I would have given the truck some real capability, you know, and called it a Lincoln and built, you know, a rugged luxury truck on a very heavy-duty platform. Yeah, that makes you sense. You know, instead of just trying to pass it off, you know, so. But Lincoln now, uh, it's run by a lady. Her name is Joy uh, Falatico. And they said that uh, they're going to bring four battery electric vehicles uh, to market and that they expect to have a full lineup of connected vehicles in the works here pretty soon. Now, bear in mind, these are the same people who basically shot... To my not, to in my opinion, shot themselves in the foot. They announced what should have been a home run. They were going to develop an an SUV EV based on the Rivion platform, because Ford put in all that money into Rivion, and make it a Lincoln. How could you lose? That would have been special, unique, and a home run. Ford's manufacturing might and marketing might behind something as novel as the Rivion pickup and a Rivion SUV. Brought with Lincoln's luxury, man, I'm telling you, that would have been the truck. They'd have lined up. They would have made this uh, the orders that Elon Musk got for the Cybertruck mm-hmm. uh, look like a walk in the park. Uh-uh. Lincoln would have hit it out the park, but they canceled that one. 
I'm like, seriously, Ford? No. That's the one you should have built, honestly. You know, if you're trying to get Lincoln to stand out, I mean, everybody's game is up. If it's one thing in the last three to four years that has hit me like a ton of bricks, it don't matter if it's a car, a small crossover, an SUV, a full-size SUV, everybody, and I do mean everybody, is bringing their A game. You know, I use the word sophisticated so much, I'm tired of using it. But these vehicles that automakers are building now are, you know, they're, they're literally, they would have passed any of them, would have passed for luxury vehicles 20 years ago, shoot, yeah. 10 years ago. And I'm talking from the smallest vehicles all the way up. Ain't nobody building anything, ha- and nobody's half-stepping. Nobody is. So to me, okay, Lincoln, you, you're now all SUVs all the time. But you need to come to the marketplace with something that's going to wow somebody. You know, okay, you're building luxury SUVs. Yeah, you and everybody else. That's nice. I mean, my goodness. I mean, I drove a Tahoe that was a diesel that blew me away at its level of sophistication. I mean, there are upscale Chevrolets that would give Lincoln a run for its money. And, and to be honest, nowadays, upscale Fords that you could slap a Lincoln badge on them and pass. So what is Lincoln going to give you? Okay, so you're going to go pure electric. All right. Are you going to give me like some serious range to help differentiate yourself? Are you going to be like maybe 450, 500 miles? They didn't say. All right. I mean, they said, yeah, you're going to have smartphone style over the air update capabilities. You know what? Chevrolet has that. Tesla's been had that. And a number of other automakers have that. So all that means is you're coming into the 21st century. Well, welcome, Lincoln. What do you got? What? You're talking about their technology push. We'll see it upgrade its connected vehicle technology and services. Everybody's in that game now. Everybody. So wonderful. I'm glad. But there's nothing in this piece that got me excited that said, oh, my God, here's a home run. They need uh, the equivalent of what Dodge had in the early 90s with the Viper. They need uh, like a C8 Corvette that everybody was drooling over, a mid-engine Corvette that was a game changer that got everybody talking. Lincoln doesn't have that halo car. The Continental was supposed to be it. <coughs> and like you said earlier, right car, wrong time. Yeah. Timing's an interesting thing in this industry. Ten years prior, maybe. Now, people yawned. It just didn't get there. It just didn't catch fire. Neither did the MKS. I mean, neither did the MKT. I mean, they've tried, but nothing's really caught fire. You know, they've had modest success, but not the kind of success that would knock it out of the park that would cause a line around the local Lincoln dealer. Yeah. So I'm going to be curious as they're bringing these vehicles to market, what is that home run? The Rivion would have been it as far as I'm concerned. I wish they hadn't canceled that one. I would have thought that would have told me that Lincoln was serious about going out the box to the wall. You know, we're going all the way and this, and we're going to wrap it in luxury and this thing's going to be awesome. And it's going to be something that we're not sharing with the Ford nameplate. Now Ford, the F-150 is going to be all electric next year. That's a game changer. Ford's putting all the chips in on that one. I don't know what Lincoln's going to do. We'll wait and see. 